Hey, hey guys. guys. I'm Nav. And I'm Ross. I'm Brendan. And I'm Serge. And welcome to another episode of The Blueprint. So today we brought some special items from our closet for a little show and tell. So one of the pieces that we have brought today is the piece which has the most sentimental value to us. The other piece is the piece that we think is genuinely the coolest thing we own. Yes, sir. I mean, we would love to go out and shoot some things, but you know, we are experiencing kind of a little bit of a lockdown. So let's get on with this video instead. Actually, don't. Do you want to go first? Let's just you see. do the usuals, you know, the usual pop paper scissors. Pop paper paper scissors. Pop paper scissors. Pop paper scissors. Let's go! So the piece that I've brought with the most sentimental value to me is this right here. It's a uh, Martin Dang. Rose like racer jacket. Why it has the most sentimental value to me is because I wore this on my first ever music video and it was wow. uh, picked out for me by one of my closest friends. So uh, shout out Gid. In the video itself, like I'm driving, this is a racer jacket. It just fits the vibe and it has so always held like a very special place in my heart. Now I want to see you like wear this out. It means so much to It's you. cool, dude. Look at it. It looks like a hoodie, but it's not really a hoodie, so it's more like a turtleneck. Wait, what? Yeah, Wait, I right? didn't notice that. Wait, what? Martine Rose is um, a female designer from the UK. She's a fantastic designer. Drake wears her a lot. Obviously, the reason why I know Aww. her is because of Drake. He wore it in, if I'm not wrong, the Chicago Freestyle video, and I was like, I need something like that. The friend who helped me get this, he wanted to see me wear this purely because I do not wear color. And this <laughs> is neon orange, so it was very different for me. Wait, is and it orange? It. it looks red to me though. I don't know, man. Maybe Wait, I'm colorblind. Hey, Russ, listen, don't lie to me, man. Dude, this, this is, is literally like red, red right here, don't, dude. Don't, what don't the mess heck? with me, man. Don't mess Bro, with me. Bro, this like is like heart it's, RGB red. Help me out, man. It's orange, dude. dude it's orange. It's definitely red. red. It's, it's neon orange. My dude. dude. It's red. neon orange. Like, I can put the no. color code of red here. Neon, you know, we do for like Photoshop and we use the color dude, chopper, we'll just say red. This is red. Okay. You guys are right. If anyone wants to Wait. It's alright, it's alright, dude. Wait. I'm getting checked up, okay? Wait, it's so different. You see, this is this is red, right? Like, it's dark, right? It's dark, right? This is dark. This is like FFFF. For my sentimental item, it's this Gucci belt bag that I got in London. It is a very, very practical bag. You can hold about like maybe your wallet, lip balm, hand sanitizer, very important. Your mask, you know. The reason why I bought this bag, my first big purchase of all time. So I was like running around London with like my best friend Karen, shout out girl. We couldn't find the bag anywhere. Like all the Gucci stores didn't have stock. So then one day we were just like, you know what, let's go to Selfridges. What is the off chance that they would have it? And they had it. I wore this like throughout the entire trip. And there were so many memorable moments. We were in Paris in our Airbnb. Our door slammed shut. And we had to literally break the door down to get into the room. Oh, you broke the Airbnb? Yeah, we broke the Airbnb. Nice. I break a lot of things. We totally lied to like the Airbnb owner, by the way. He put a whole new meaning into Gucci gang. You know. <laughs> so it's like very sentimental to me because like it was such a good time and I really miss traveling. So I've been like, uh, I want to travel. You know, Gucci is very well known for their red and green stripe and also the classic monogram, the GGs, which I love. And they have this little like cool metal work of a tiger. And I really, really love like big cats. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, why do you buy like a canvas bag instead of something like leather? Like, dude, buy whatever makes you happy and this put a smile on my face, okay? It's my money, I gotta do whatever I want with it. Do you want to touch it? I want to touch. No? Okay. <laughs> I accessorize it in different ways. Like some days it's like a sling, then some days like today it's like a belt bag because I want to accentuate my waist because I think I have a tiny ass waist. You know, multi-purpose. Because you know, a lot of people always think that I buy new clothes like every month. That's a lie. I don't do that, okay? I think it's not sustainable, that's not cost efficient. I just like style it differently. Okay, so for my sentimental item, I brought ching, a bandana bro. Yo, all you Singaporean guys. You fresh poly students, yo, this is like your statement piece right here, okay? Basically, this is like a past that I don't want to really remember, but your boy thought he was like a cool kid with this bandana, like look at me, bro. That look cool. Bro, you're just weird, bro. Every kid in Singapore, they always have like this bandana that they always bring to school. You're fresh from secondary school, you want to like dress well, you want to dress more. And I hated that. I was like full on blonde hair, denim jacket, bandana. It's fine man, I mean, you know, we all go through our phases. Yeah. Rock the bandana, if you like it, rock it. So my sentimental piece, it's not for your cheap by the way, it's just oh. in the box. I kind of <laughs> debated you guys. What are you laugh? Sorry, no, I just find it so cute. This is my Sumori Chisato striped long sleeve. 
My tia got this for me when I was like 17 and it's so sentimental to me because it is my first designer piece. I think it's an M size. I was like 175 back then or something like that. I don't know, I was like short and basically I can't fit in this anymore. So it's just kind of there. Did I you always just remember say this. short at 175? I'm 170 and this dude has the goal to say he's short at 175. I know, uh, you, I mean, you know what they say, right? What, what do they say? What Everything they say? under 5'11 is just... If was, you are below 175, don't worry. I still love you. He might not love <laughs> you, but I love you, okay? I'm sorry. They don't really do a lot of men's wear stuff. It's more of like women's wear, but it has really cute designs and they use a lot of color. So much just to yeah. sponsor. <laughs> Now I'm gonna let you guys in on a big secret of my wardrobe. I'm gonna show you the coolest piece I own. And trust me, when I say this is cool, it's cool. What? It's a black t-shirt. Wait, what is that? This <laughs> what is that, bro? This <laughs> is crazy, all right? You know all of these guys are gonna come up Wait. here with some crazy, expensive, Wait. you know, intricate, mad stuff. This black t-shirt has seen me through everything. I bought this in London. But Wait, everywhere London. I go, yeah, before COVID and everything, right? Everywhere I go, I will buy like a, a bunch of black t-shirts. I probably own like 50 of them. Wait, these. what is this, H&M? Yeah, it's H&M. It's H&M premium My dude, cotton. He's yeah. gonna be trolling, right? No, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, hear me First up, hear me up. and then now we got the black. If you're going to a party, you have nothing to wear, what do you wear? A black t-shirt. You're going for football with the boys, what do you wear? A black t-shirt. You're headed to the studio, what are you gonna wear? A okay, black t-shirt. where this is going now. What am I wearing under this very nice Stussy jacket? <laughs> A black t-shirt. I mean, yeah, you can wear a black t-shirt, but look at me. This is literally like a black t-shirt with stripes. So, you know, a bit of pattern, a bit of layer. Yeah, sure. You know? I mean, you can spice it up a little bit. Bottom line is this shit is so versatile. It's great. You oh, wear it this everywhere. Is soft, I know, right? It's good. It's, bro, it's premium cotton, bro. You know, Steve Jobs wears the same thing every day. It's smart, frankly, if you ask me, because you don't really have to think about it much. Mm. It's versatile. It works with everything. And if you can rock one thing really well, why not rock it every single day? I'm yeah, just what saying. What is your favorite item? black t-shirt. It's a black t-shirt, always. That's it. Okay, so it's time for my coolest piece. Cool. And again, I'm wearing it. They are these boots! <laughs> Can you see them? Can you see them? Yes? Okay, wait, I should just take it off, like, obviously. Okay. Damn, I did not know it had a zipper. Yeah, of course it needs a zipper. I'm not gonna go through all this time lacing up every damn day. I can't do that. I don't have time for that. I'm a busy person. So this combat boot, I got this year actually for my birthday. So kind of sentimental, but it's also the coolest piece. There are so many details, like the metal work on this boot. Can you hear that? Oh, Th okay. This thing is real metal. Like if you kick someone with this, they're gonna be in pain. And that's it's another so thing I look for in clothing, where they can be used as a weapon. I think like combat boots in general, yeah. just step on anybody would be in so much pain. You would think that because it has metal and that it's like a bit thicker, that it would be very uncomfortable. But no, it feels like a cloud when I'm walking in there. And also it's vegan leather, so it's like sustainable and like good for the environment and good for animals. You know, one thing that a lot of my friends know about me is that if you put metal with clothing, I just fall in love with it like immediately. I don't know why. Mm. Ooh. If it's shiny. Ooh. It's from McCoy. It's like an indie European brand. I think for Singaporeans, you can find it on ASOS. I wanted to steal it, but his shoe size is too small. Yeah, because I'm 170 and you're... 183. Not salty about that height comment, yeah? Hmm, <laughs> 183. You have to wear that to like, just get a little bit taller. Boom, roasted. So basically my item is... This whole ass rope thing, eh? I got this thrifted from Korea, yeah? This was like two years ago. So I've only worn this like twice. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys right now. Yeah. It's like this whole rope thingy. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. Dude, so basically it's like this, yeah? You can also like button up. So you see like I'm full on having it as a coat, right? Give me a sec. Oh, it's gonna take a while. It's like covering my whole body, man. I wore it once to the airport yeah. and like, I had like grandmas and grandpas staring <laughs> down at me. It's like high dyed I think. Self-custom made thrift shop kind of thing where they like picked up old rubbish and stuff and they turn it into like clothes over there. It looks really comfy too, actually. Yeah. It's not bad. It's actually like airy because like there's a lot of space in between. Yeah, I like and it. I also yeah. brought a second item here. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. Your boys coming ben out pulled with two up. items. Yeah, bro. with a lot. Ta-da! But these basically are like accessories. Oh man! Crap. Yo, I feel so edgy. I feel so surged right now, man. <laughs> like, do it. Dude, I'm gonna have to still like your e-boy vibes there for a while. Dude, this looks like it's out of a My, Harry Potter set. Right? I love it, yeah. Dude, it's like a whole skeleton. So as you can see, like, it like grips to your whole hand. So like, if you move with it, it also like stretches out by itself. So it's, you know, pretty elastic. So if you like wear them, you can like basically like kind of, you know, squirt somebody with this, I don't know. Like, does it hurt? Yeah, yeah, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so, you know, you gotta like bring out your accessories. 
<laughs> accessories matter a lot, okay? They because, do. Because every little detail, right, it makes the outfit a lot more cooler, a lot more fresh. And know? it gives it more meaning. Like, it really does, yeah. You see, he have a coat right now, right? Imagine wearing this right now. Damn! He's basically boy. saying that I don't look fly, but like, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but accessories are really cool. They elevate your look, they give a little bit of meaning to your outfit, especially when, you know, something you're wearing is from someone else and gives it an extra bit of spice. Sorry, show us your cool item. This is one of my coolest things that I've ever owned. I think this is actually my most prized possession in my wardrobe, like, ever. All right, check it out. You see that? This thing is reflective. So like when you take- <gasps> Oh, okay, okay, I see it now. Yeah, when you take flash photography and stuff like that, it just glows. And that's why I thought it was so cool and that's why I really wanted it. I don't know if the camera can see it. Wait, can I use my phone? I'm gonna use my phone. Oh yeah, look at that. Take They're the like photo. little like- Take little the photo with the flash. Things. I love okay, it. Look at the camera, smile. Yeah, like a little bit. How much was it? It was uh, 220 US dollars. Oh. <laughs> so it's a US, US brand. It's called unnamed.nyc and it was started by an Asian influencer. I got it for my 21st birthday, yeah? I got this for myself. Treat yourself, by the way, guys. Here's the story, okay? They messed up my shipping. They put the wrong address or something. And then they were like, oh, oops. We made an oopsie. Because of this inconvenience, we'll give you a free engraving. And I was like, what? That's so nice. Free engraving? Yeah, customer service right there. Nin means patience and like endurance. I've been saving up. I didn't just want to spend it on anything, right? This part kind of sold it to me. One, I thought it was really cool. And second, in America, there's a lot of Asian hate going on right now. And basically this company was started by a first generation Asian American. When I bought it, like a portion of it goes to AAPI organizations. Oh, that's great. You know, you're spending some money and giving back to the community. I think we're having a, a lot of Asian hate here in Asia too. I mean, you can dislike people. I dislike people. We probably dislike people, right? Too many. But don't dislike people just because like their like their outer appearance is messed up, bro. Asian hate is rampant all over the world, but other people of color also experience the same things on a daily basis. So have a little bit of compassion for one another, and I think that will go a super long way. Practice your empathy. All right, guys. So that'll be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this second video of ours. Please comment down below what you guys want to see us do next. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch our last video. See you guys. Bye.